guys. Brewery 602 Beer Reviews here at Brewery 602 on Instagram. My name is Marcus. And today I have a cider. Yes, a cider. This is a cider out of Cider Core, which is located in, uh, they have a couple locations actually, one of them in Gilbert, Arizona, and then their main facility and the original facilities in Mesa, Arizona. Um, they're not very far from each other, uh, probably only like 15 minute drive from each other, but um, you know, they needed to get bigger space. Uh, this cidery is blowing up big time in Arizona. Um, there are not very many of them around anyway, but they're legit. Like uh, if you've heard of um, like Superstition Meadery, how they've gone like international and you know, Superstition Meadery is like this massive beast of a, of a meadery now. Cider, of course, kind of getting in that direction. They're going to be the uh, cidery out there. I mean, it's an, an amazing facility. Uh, veteran owned so you know an amazing story behind that um that i'm not going to get into <laughs> since we're just going to do a review but uh this here is actually a really cool release this is called joint force operation and it is a uh, purple heart cider so you can see that and uh, the can actually has like it's like a flannel pattern on the can and this is actually a collaboration with uh, dixon flannel um and it says here in the back, we join forces with the crew at Dixon Flannel to honor and support combat wounded veterans. This will be accomplished through donations to the Military Order of the Purple Heart and Cohen Veterans Bioscience. So again, uh, they, this is what they do at, you know, at uh, Cider Corps. Um, this is a uh, fermented apple juice, ube, and Arizona honey. So very interesting. Um, and that's what this is made with. Uh, and it says, drink great cider, honor great sacrifice. And that's what they do there. So let's crack it open. Um, I guess I didn't look at the percentage. I think most of their ciders are from 6 to 7%. Um, I would say 99% of their ciders, except for barrel-aged stuff or whatever, is, is usually in that 65 to 7% range. So um, I didn't look for it on the can. It might be on here somewhere. Let me see. I just opened it. But... Uh, no, don't see an ABV or count on date. It just was released uh, a couple of years ago. So, ooh, look at that. It is lightly carbonated. So I'll just pour hard down there. I think they usually, most of their ciders are very, uh, very light in the carbonation range. I just dropped it. Um, so, as you can see, through all my nasty glass there it's not really it's just the cider is completely different than beer um <clears throat> it's purple <laughs> and it is clear as it's purple yeah, it's extremely purple it is really cool looking actually uh, let me see if i can clear it out a little bit there yeah there it goes but um yeah, yeah it's purple really cool color so ube is um purple yam so uh, apparently that's where they get the color from. <laughs> um, it's purple yam. Uh, had it before. Real nutty kind of a yam, I guess. Nutty vanilla kind of thing. So um, they used honey in this. So I think uh, that's going to play well. So let's uh, get a drive-by aroma. Hmm. Smells like apple cider. <laughs> Smells like cider. I'm getting more of the side, more of the apple um, aroma out of it. Very light on the nose, for sure. Definitely very light. I mean, you do get like a apple crisp kind of thing or cosmic apple, um, which is like real honey forward kind of an apple, real sweet apple. Don't pick up any of the, the yam. I don't think I would. I don't know how I would um, or how I would even tell it's a yam. <laughs> I, just, I have no clue. So I'm going to get a deep aroma. Okay, so, I mean, you do get honey. So, for sure, there's, like, a honey character to it. Um, it does, like I said, those cosmic crisp apples, like those big ones and those, um, like, massive cosmic apples have, are, like, a honey kind of a bite to them whenever you, you bite into them, kind of like a Fuji apple almost. Um, <clears throat> that kind of has that aroma in there. So, it smells fantastic. You get a taste on it. Cheers and thank you for your service.
it's it's a delicious cider straight up delicious cider you get a really small small honey taste in there very small definitely not sweet it's it's definitely not sweet at all it's, it's actually kind of dry um but very clean and well fermented uh, honey slash uh, apple Yeah, I would say it's probably like a 6% cider. Very clean. Again, it's nothing, you know, they make one called blueberry pie, which is like, it's insanely delicious. <clears throat> a little sweet, but it's very spice forward. This one is a base cider. Um, obviously, the purple yam is for the color. Um, you know, gives you this beautiful purple color, which plays along with purple heart. Um, so... As far as cider is concerned, it's, it's amazing. It's a delicious hard cider. So uh, don't get too, again, not, not going to knock you away with like yam flavor and all this other stuff. Again, that was, I think, just for the color. Um, <clears throat> but the honey does add a really nice character to it and rounds out that earthiness that the yam would have given. So they know what they're doing there. And they do fantastic stuff. And they have a fantastic cause that they're doing it for. So... Um, as far as the grade's concerned, it, it's pointless to grade it because the effort behind this cause and what they do at Cider Core is well beyond any grade I can give anything, so um, be silly to grade it. So anyways, um, if you're ever in the area and it come down to Phoenix or whatever, you got to go check out Cider Core. It's, uh, it's a really cool place. Just leave it at that. Love the place and um, can't wait to go back. So anyways, hope you like this. Uh, please leave a comment like, subscribe, and yada, yada, yada. It's Marcus, Marie 62 Beer Reviews, at Marie 62 on Instagram. Please follow, like, and subscribe. Cheers. Hey, so upon further inspection, <clears throat> there's an ABV on the can. Ha ha. And it's 6.5% ABV. So I told you most of theirs were between 6 and 7%. Good.